Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. I got a question recently about what is the most effective way to write an automated test for any functionality, for any feature. How do you determine, how do you figure out what the best test automation strategy is? I personally use a thing that I call the lowest responsible level of testing. And what I mean by that is that when you test a piece of functionality, you need to figure out exactly the area of code, the area of the application, the module that is responsible for that piece of functionality. You don't want to test everything around it. You want to zone in on just that piece of functionality as much as you possibly can. Now, when I say lowest responsible level, the responsible has two meanings. The responsible means that you're looking for the piece of code that is responsible for the feature you're testing and so that you can get the most coverage, but also it's your own personal responsibility, your due diligence, if you like. How can you are responsible for testing this piece of functionality? How can you be confident that you have sufficiently tested it? How can you be confident that it does everything it's supposed to do? And this is where the idea of the lowest responsible level gets a little bit interesting because it's actually not an absolute thing. It's not an absolute value. It depends on your perspective. If you're an external testing team, if you're, uh, you've been handed an application to test and you don't know what goes inside, then the lowest responsible level is probably going to be the user interface. But if you're embedded in the team, if you're working with the code, if you're familiar with the code base, if you're technically savvy enough about automation to understand how the unit tests work, to understand what is being tested, to understand how the code works, to work with the developers to get that knowledge, then the lowest responsible level goes a lot lower. So if you want to test a, a particular functionality, it may be a UI test, it may be a microservice test, it may be a unit test, it may be a cucumber scenario with a business facing representation, but implemented as at the level of unit tests. You have options. And that is why getting into test automation, becoming comfortable and confident in test automation and encoding, not just writing test scripts, but actually understanding the code is so important for modern testing. So that's my takeaway for today, the lowest responsible level. I'd love to hear what you think.